Hey guys, got some great books here and here. Uh, one of my favorite characters right now and also just some really cool books right here I got in the mail. Let's start the video. Hey ladies and gents, your pal Rob here. Check it out, got some great books to show you. And um, by the way, if you're new, if you like classic covers, classic stories, first appearances, you come to the right place. If, also, if you're new, please subscribe. All right, one of my favorite characters to buy in comics right now is America Chavez. Now, um, she had a series that ran from one to 12, and some of the books were kind of hard to find. You know, I have a, a, a bunch here I don't have each one. I do have an issue number one, but it won't be in this pile. I got that a while ago. This is uh, America number three, and this is where she meets the X-Men. Got it for $4 in tax. And um, it goes for about, I think about $10, I think. It's not a first appearance, but it's still just a kind of a cool book. So her stuff is not really common out there. I mean, it's not hard to get, but it's just not common. Picked up two more copies here of America issue five with America Chavez driving, Kate Bishop kind of like riding shotgun and Lucky the pizza dog there in the back seat. This one I got for $4 and it goes for about eight to $10 I think. So let's get another cool book, cool cover. We got here America number seven, got for cover. I think it goes for like five to ten bucks. America number nine. Same thing. Now, later in the series, the I guess this title at the time wasn't very popular. So it gets harder to find the later issues. For example, I got issue 11 here. And this goes probably for about 10 to 15, I think. Um, Good book. And the last issue right here is America number 12. And this one ranges between 20 and $50. This one is not 9.8, but it's still in great shape and it's a relatively cool cover. So if you see the America books, because she's gonna be in the Doctor Strange movie, it might be worth picking up her uh, cooler covers. She has a great uh, issue number eight variant, Jen Bartel cover. It goes for about 150 plus, over $300 9.8. So keep your eyes open on the America books. I think they're really worthwhile getting. Now I have the uh, new Avengers Annual number one. And this is the issue where Luke Cage marries um, Jessica Jones. And also in this issue, there is a battle between, oh, this is where um, Yelena Belova, Black Widow, becomes the super adaptoid and battles the superheroes. So this is a two for issue. The first time they get married and the first time Yelena Belova becomes the super adaptoid. I came across this at a comic show. This is a Elizabeth II coin from Canada. It says 2016, it says $5. Now the back it has the Superman seal right there. It says Canada. Fine silver, one ounce, 1999. And then it's, on the front it says 2016, $5. So anyway, it says, DG Regina. Anybody here from there or know where it is? Let me know in the comments. All right, this next comic is Hawkeye number 11. And this is the uh, Lucky, the pizza dog story issue. Now, this is not his first appearance. Uh, Lucky, the pizza dog's first appearance is in Hawkeye number one. However, this is an award-winning story. I think it won an Eisner Award, which is an award for a really good story and books 
or just stories in general. So anyway, this book I got, I think I paid $10 plus shipping for. It goes for about 15 to 20, I think. And um, I have not read it yet because it's a silent story, but I still think it's a good book to get. And if you see this one for, for a dollar or less, it's probably worth picking up. Hawkeye number 11. This comic is actually one of my favorite characters in all the Spider-Verse. Anyway, this is Spider-Geddon issue number three. And this is the second printing. Now it's not a cover change like I normally like on a second printing, but it's still a second printing. Anyway, this is the first appearance of Spider's Man, who is by far, in my opinion, the creepiest spider character I've ever seen. Spider-Man is made up of thousands of spiders and um, apparently when Peter Parker in the original story get bitten by a spider, he got this, the powers from this, the radioactive spider. However, in this one, he falls into a pit of radioactive spiders and they take over his personality and they think they're all Peter Parker. This, I hope we see this character in the Spider-Verse somewhere along the line. That would be an incredibly cool story. Anyway, Spider-Geddon 3, the first appearance of Spider's Man. My next book here is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number two, second print. Got it for five plus shipping. Anyway, this is the, excuse me, not second print, third print. And this is the first cover appearance of April O'Neil right there. And she's one of the main characters in um, Turtles lore. So if you want to see her first cover appearance, you get it right here. As far as the print run goes, I forgot what it was. I'll put it right here. But if you look on the Turtle Mania website, it has all the print uh, numbers of the books, the first couple of books. So you know what they are. Anyway, the Turtles 2 is a cool issue. And if you are a Turtles collector, if you want a, you should have this book because this is a different cover printing. So keep that in mind. This one goes for about $30 or so, I think, plus. So keep that in mind. Got it for five bucks. All right, anyway, guys, um, my comic of the day here is, it's either pronounced W-Y-R-D, weird or wired. I'm not sure. All I know is it's the comic of the day. This book went from the dollar bin to about $20 plus. And it's about an immortal detective who apparently is unkillable. Anyway, it has been optioned and it will be, I believe, on FX, so we'll see. It looks like an interesting um, story. I did read the first issue. I even referenced this comic, I think about a year ago, and um, in one of my videos, can't recall which one, but it doesn't matter. This book, hopefully it will be a cool series on TV, but if you see this book, it's still possible to find this book in the dollar bin. This is W Y R D or Weird or Wired, issue number one. If you see it, grab it. Uh, it's a cool story. It's a decent spec right now, you know, if you can find it for cover or less. Hey, if you get any value out of this video, leave a like. If you're new, please subscribe. It helps. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. And uh, make sure you have your notification turned on because I upload pretty frequently. And I think that'll do it for now. I will see you later.